Hello everyone, it's another beautiful blessed day today to be in the presence of the Lord. It's an honor to always to praise Him, an honor always to glorify Him, an honor always to glorify and shout out His holy name because we serve an awesome and amazing God. There's nothing that I Heavenly Father God won't do for me or you. That's why you always need to give it up to Him. Thank Him. Just don't thank Him because you want something. Thank Him because you're in love with Jesus. That's why you need to give him the thanks. That's why you always need to give him the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. And today, we're going to be talking about the Jezebel spirit. A lot of ministers or preachers don't speak on that. I don't know why. But it's still going on. It was still going on over 2,000 years ago. And it's still going on today. That Jezebel spirit. It's lurking there. We're still lurking in our churches. It's still lurking in our jobs. It's still lurking at the schoolhouse. It's lurking everywhere we go. Why? Why are we still getting enticed by this Jezebel spirit? We should know better. But some of us, we still don't. We still are getting trapped by that same spirit that's poisoning people all around us. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. That Jezebel spirit. It's still going around. Some of you might not know about it. If you don't, this message is for you. You need to know about it. Because it's here. And it's still around. It ain't went nowhere. We thought it went somewhere. But it's still here. But like I said before, a lot of ministers and a lot of pastors don't really don't speak on it. But I'm going to speak on it. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, we always like to take the time out. To give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. We can't thank you enough for our health and our strength today. We can't thank you enough that we was able to use our brains today to think. We just can't thank you enough that you was able to blow life inside our body today. Pump blood through our vein today. For that reason right there, we got to thank you. That is a blessing within itself. Because we could have been somewhere else this, today. But you woke us up. You breathe life inside of us. You pump blood through our vein. That's a blessing within itself. For that reason right there, we cannot thank you enough. We can't thank you enough for the shoes and clothes that you was able to put on our back today. We can't thank you enough for the food that you was able to put on our table today. To get us back and forth to our job today. To able that we able to seek you and praise you and worship you each and every day. We just can't thank you enough for your love. We just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy, God. That's why we love you. That's why we praise you. That's why we love, honor you, and glorify and shout out your holy name. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. And today, I would love for y'all to turn y'all back to Revelation chapter 2. And we're going to read from verse 20. That's Revelation 2, verse 20. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out Amen. Amen. Let's begin. Needless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman, Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess. By her teaching, she misleads my service, servants into sexual immortality and eating of food sacrificed to idols. And that's what Jezebel do. She misleads God's servants into sexual immortality and eating food and sacrifice to idols. And they're still doing it in the church today. I remember growing up as a little boy going to church. Women used to go to church wearing long dresses. Used to wear jackets with the shoulder pads in it. It was very rare that you saw a woman wearing makeup. The only time they wore makeup was lipstick. That's the only thing they wore. And that's the only thing that the women came to church for. Long dresses. The jacket with the shoulder pads and on. They brought the children and they came to hear the word. But now, it's a totally different scene. You got women now, don't even come to church to hear the word. They come, just like the word of God said, to mislead God's servants into sexual immortality. Why? They go to church today when the littlest, shortest skirts, so tight. So you can see everything that got going on. They wear the most busted shirts. So you can see their cleavage. And you wonder why the pastor can't get the sermons right. 
And you wonder why the ushers having a hard time passing the collection plate. You wonder why the deacon really can't tap his foot like he used to. Because of the Jezebel spirit. It's still in church today. Why? I don't know. You should be going to church, listen to the word, instead of having sex on your mind. But long that Jezebel spirit is lurking in the church, she knows exactly what she can do and who she can do it to. But some of your men, you really not strong enough. You got some pastors really not strong enough. When they see that Jezebel spirit, they get enticed. The ushers, they get enticed. The deacons, they get enticed. I ain't talking about you. I'm just preaching about you. It's in the church. And we, we also have the Jezebel spirit in our schoolhouses too as well. We was going to school. We went to school to learn, to get an education. Teachers was, was loving to teach us. They came to school to give us an education. They, they was, they pro, their top priority was for us to, to look at them as a role model. Time has changed. The teacher's not coming to school now with the Jezebel spirit. Now, they're enticing little kids to having sex. Then, not only having sex with the young kids, they're also getting pregnant by them. They're going to have the nerve to sit there and say they're in love with the boy, and they're going to keep the child. How can you have the audacity to say that you're in love with a 13-year-old boy and have his child when that little 13-year-old boy don't know what love means? He ain't old enough to get no job. He ain't old enough to pay child support. So how can you say that you love him? How can you say that you're going to keep his child? You don't make any sense. It's that Jezebel spirit. It's in the gym too. Some of your brothers know you ain't but 100 pounds. And soon that Jezebel spirit come past you or just lurking around the gym, all the mac you start throwing all kind of weight on the bench. No good more, you can't lift it up. But soon that Jezebel spirit come around you, you try to show out. Then you hurt yourself. Then you go home. Your wife or your girlfriend say, babe, what happened? Oh, I, I, I think I, I pulled something. I think I lifted the wrong way. You ain't pulled nothing. You ain't lift anything the wrong way. It was the Jezebel spirit that was around you. That's how you hurt yourself. Won't you tell your girlfriend and the wife the truth? Now, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I'm preaching to somebody today. That Jezebel spirit around. It's all in your neighborhood. It's all in, it's all in, it's all in the job place too. You go to work, you probably go to work to, to learn and, and get the job done. But that Jezebel spirit so so bad and so bad in your workplace, you already know who it is. You got some women, they wake up two hours early just to fix they self up. No, I really don't take but 30 minutes. But they wake up two hours early just to make sure they got all the makeup powder on their face, their eyelashes on, their hair done, make sure you got the tightest clothes on. But then you got some of the brothers. Yeah, you might be taking the shower, but you also take a shower and bottle cologne. When you leave your house, you can smell the cologne just lurking all around you. You might well say that you're a baby skunk in disguise. You already know who I'm talking to. Why are you doing that? That Jezebel spirit. And some of you, you have a wife at home. Some of you, you have a girlfriend at home. But the Jezebel spirit is so powerful on you and it's around you. That's what you do. That's exactly what you do. It's all at the grocery store. You can't even push your, your, your buggy, right? Not seeing the Jesus beer. You running on to the shelf, knocking down cans and everything just because of that. That's what the word of God said by her teaching. She misleads my servants into sexual immortality. That's what she doing. She misleading God's servants into sexual immortality in the church. She misleading God's servants sexual immortality in the school. She misleading God's servants into sex in the job place, in the neighborhood, at the grocery store. Why? And it's so bad. You think you want to go to church to hear the word, but that Jezebel spirit is so powerful in the church. You already know who you are. Some of you probably notice it every time you go to church. If you start hearing the pastor this 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 mumbling and stuttering a lot, or you see the Jezebel spirit on in the, in the front row wearing the tightest clothes, you already know what that is. If you see your deacon, he can't even tap that foot like he used to, you know what it is. If you see the usher just fumbling with the collection plate and he can't pass it down, you know what it is. Every time you turn on news, 
you see a teacher having sex with a young kid. Like I said before, how can you have the audacity to say that you're in love with him and want to have a child when he ain't even old enough to know what love is, when he ain't old enough to have get a job? How can I mean it don't make any sense. I see people at the gym not hurting themselves because it, because they see the judge of spirit. Like I said, a lot of people don't speak on it, but I'm speaking on it. Do not get enticed by that woman. Do not get enticed by her teaching. Do not get enticed by her sexual immortality, what she's doing. Block it, rebuke her. Rebuke it right then and there. Once you see it, you need to rebuke it. Right then and there, in the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke that Jezebel spirit away from me right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get away from my church. Get away from my school. Get away from my gym. Get away from my household. Get away from my neighborhood. Get away from my workplace. In the mighty name of Jesus. That's what you need to start doing when you see it. That's when you need to do it. Because you see it every day. You don't go to church every day. But you go to work every day. You go to the store. And in your neighborhood. It's there. When you see it. You need to start rebuking it. Right then and now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if you receive this word today, let's give God thanks and praise and glory, y'all. This is Minister LT. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, and use me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying a simple letter prayer, that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.